Welcome to the program. I'm Mark Imperial. This segment's being brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals, entrepreneurs, and business owners publish to inform their consumers, grow their practices, and to leave a legacy. We're doing a series of spotlights on remarkable experts, specifically in elder law and estate planning for this particular series. Joining me on this segment based in Northern Virginia and serving all of Virginia is Matthew Yao. He's an attorney and partner with Worley, Dahlberg, and Yao. Matthew, welcome to the program. Hey, thanks for having me. Matthew, I know elder law is a broad topic. And so can you please let us know a little bit about your specialties on that spectrum and the types of clients that you specialize in serving? Sure. I, you know, I do wide range of, you know, estate planning, elder law, as you said. So that includes uh, drafting estate planning documents, the, the run of the mill will, powers of attorney, um, as well as uh, trusts and other estate planning uh, documents. And then I also do um, the other side, which is elder law. That would be more like um, guardianships and conservatorships um, for people um, who are unable to manage their affairs any longer and um, you know, probate. So for uh, when someone passes away, handling their assets, um, trust administration, uh, that kind of thing. I was really eager to shed more light on this topic of elder law, because uh, as you might imagine, the, the, the pandemic has shined such a spotlight on the need out there. Um, and old fashioned thinking is like, hey, isn't a will enough? You know, and uh, what are the kind of challenges that you found people face today? Um, and the, the things that people have most on their mind, what are the most frequently asked questions when people reach out to you or what are their main concerns? Sure, well, you know, uh, with, with the pandemic, everybody is uh, scared about their mortality, right? So <laughs> had a lot of calls, uh, especially last year, um, toward the latter half of the year for estate planning. Um, you know, people that are a little younger tend to not really want to get to do their estate planning right away. But, you know, I think the pandemic kind of got everyone thinking, well, you know, anything really could happen at any time. So, um, you know, just getting their affairs in order so that uh, they make sure their assets go to their children or whoever else they uh, want them to go to um, in a straightforward fashion. Right. So, um, you know, kind of like what you were saying uh, back you know, before, I think a lot of people just did wills, um, but really that's not the best way to get your assets to someone. It's, you know, with the will, there's a lot of process through the courts called probate. Um, it's a lot of hassle. There's a lot of paperwork uh, and time involved. Uh, could be expensive. So, you know, typically uh, most people uh, these days are opting for revocable living trusts, uh, which avoids that whole process. What is the danger or the risk of not preparing for this and getting caught off guard? What could happen? Yeah, sure. Well, if you don't prepare, I mean, you know, you're not going to care because you're gone, right? <laughs> but uh, your your family and, and uh, everybody, they're going to be left with a big mess, right? So um, without a will, you have to go through the courts. Um, they have to figure out uh, who is supposed to get your property, which, you know, may or may not be who you want it to go to, um, depending on, you know, your relationships with certain family members. And um, just, yeah, it can be very costly, time consuming. Um, you know, there's a bond involved as well when you, when you pass uh, without a will. So, you know, whoever you want to handle your estate, they might not be able to handle it if they can't qualify for that bond. Uh, so there, yeah, there can be a lot of challenges for sure. You mentioned, you know, aging is such a sensitive subject, and, and you mentioned uh, that younger folks don't really think about this stuff. When is the right time? Is there a right time, or is there a time that's too soon, too early? What's the right time to start planning for this? Sure. Well, you know, it's, it's never too soon, right? So I, I advise people you should get started on that right away. I mean, a lot of people tend to wait until they have children. Um, that's when they tend, that I see people tend to care about it more. Um, that's fine, but I mean, you really should get something in place um, e even before then, uh, just, just to have it in place. You can always change it later. What are some of the big myths and misconceptions you hear out there that maybe keep people from getting properly prepared? Are there, are there any big things that people hold on to that aren't quite accurate? 
Well, yeah, sure. That, that's a, definitely, I could go into a lot of things there, but um, I guess real quickly, yeah, a lot of people, I think, especially older people, they, they feel like, well, eh, you know, I don't need an estate plan. You know, nothing's going to happen to me. I'll be fine. Well, you know, you get into a lot of problems. I mean, we kind of talked about the will aspect, right, when you pass away. But there's also the aspect of what if you're still alive, but you're incapacitated, right? Um, you, you definitely want to set up a power of attorney to handle, uh, you know, your medical and financial decisions if you become incapacitated uh, and you're still alive or else nobody can really make those decisions and help you with those things. Matthew, how, what inspired you to specialize in, in elder law and estate planning? How'd you get started? Yeah, well, you know, I just, I just kind of got into it. Um, I did a lot of work with the courts um, as a guardian ad litem, which is uh, basically when someone needs a guardianship or conservatorship, uh, they appointed me uh, to work with that person, kind of meet with them, explain the process to them, make sure their rights are protected. So I kind of started there, um, you know, right, right out of law school, I was doing a lot of that work. And then that kind of got me into, you know, just the more elder law and estate planning. Um, yeah. So for folks listening that, you know, this has really raised their awareness and they know they need some help, they're in the Virginia area and uh, might like to speak with you. How can they find you, connect with you and learn more? Yeah, definitely. Um, so we have a website. You can go on the web, uh, www.lawfirmvirginia.com. So it's pretty easy. That's Virginia all spelled out. Um, they can definitely give me a call. Um, my phone number, you know, they can reach me directly at uh, 703-828-5299. Shoot me an email, uh, myao at lawfirmvirginia.com. I'd be happy to talk to them. This has been terrific. I really appreciate your insights and taking the time to share with my audience today. I wish you continued success for you and for all of your clients. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Matthew Yao, attorney and partner with Worley, Dahlberg and Yao based in Northern Virginia, serving the entire state. This segment's been brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals, entrepreneurs and business owners publish to inform their consumers, grow their practices, and to leave a legacy. That's all for now. I'm Mark Imperial, and thanks for joining me.